Dr. Anthony Muhammad, an education consultant, recalls his second grade class in 1976 with Mrs. Wolf at Carpenter Road Elementary in Flint. I can tell you, when I left, I read, I, I could read anything you put in front of me. And everybody in our class could. And I just want that for every child. And I got it here at Carpenter Road. And to help every child receive the quality education he had. Things that, that happen inside of the classroom. Dr. Muhammad travels the world training adults in the education profession on how to transform the public school system into a more productive learning environment. I think it was Time Magazine, uh, at the turn of the millennium, who ran a, an article and said if Rip Van Winkle fell asleep in 1900 and woke up in 2000, only thing he would recognize would be the public school system. Dr. Muhammad is a contributing author to the book, The Collaborative Administrator, Working Together as a Professional Learning Community. The book focuses on three different school transformation categories. The first one, focus on learning. We've always focused on teaching. Learning hasn't really been our focus. Well, 2009, we're in a different ball game. We need to measure what students take away, and what justifies good practice is that students walk away with the intended learning that we had when we started that instruction. And one way of assuring all students are learning, Dr. Muhammad says, is to collaborate together. That collaborative culture is more than just teachers talking. It's a whole system-wide approach to not having a bunch of little one-room schoolhouses, but to operate like a real organization. Which he says to most school systems is a foreign way of doing things. For example, when Dr. Muhammad was a teacher. I taught what I wanted to teach, how I wanted to teach it. I assessed it the way that I wanted to assess it. And there were three other seventh grade social studies teachers, and we never talked. And according to Muhammad's teachings, that needs to change. He says it's time all students receive the same quality education so there are positive results among all children. If it means remediation until the sun comes up, if it means teaching a student in different ways, that we, we're not satisfied that our job is done until a student demonstrates that they've learned what we intended for them to learn when we started teaching. Who's to say the next Bill Gates won't come out of Flint? Dr. Anthony Muhammad, a famous education consultant born and raised in Flint, dreams of the day when the public school system is completely transformed and when all children receive the same quality education across the board. When schools start to look at students as individuals, as opposed to percentages, we'll make a lot of progress. If I learn that I'm at the 90th percentile in my class, what does that do to help my skill level? It doesn't. What about the student who's down at the 10th percentile? All it does is really hurt their self-esteem. In Dr. Muhammad's book, Transforming School Culture, he talks about how the public school system has been in a comparative, competitive bell curve system. Well, we have a small group of so-called honor students, a large group of average students, and a small group of remedial students. Schools have been basically institutions of sorting. While studying schools across the country, Dr. Muhammad examined course offerings at public schools. In that study, he discovered nearly 10% of classes were for the low-performing or special education students. 80% of the classes were for the average or normal student, while the other 10% of the courses were made available to those identified as academically gifted. But Dr. Muhammad believes all students can learn at high levels, and it's important to start at the beginning. If a student falls behind in kindergarten and those gaps grow, this is where we get 10th graders, 11th graders with 4th grade skills because nobody ever stopped to plug in those gaps. In Dr. Muhammad's book, he encourages all educators to make sure all students are learning while filling in the gaps along the way. Alex McNeese, principal at Douglas Elementary in Garden City, Michigan, thinks the same way. There's a wealth of resource in every single school. McNeese has read both of Muhammad's books and has incorporated the collaboration theory within his school. The whole concept of a professional learning community is to bring the teachers together to structure that conversation and to share those ideas that work in someone else's classroom so you can use them and they'll work in your classroom. And of course, by work, it means to get every kid learning. And in the end, Dr. Muhammad says it's going to take belief among each school team to do whatever it takes in ensuring all students learn at the highest level possible. If you follow a traditional method and nobody learns, but they, you, they, you've taught them, teaching doesn't necessarily mean learning. So in the PLC method, we strive to mesh the two, that good instruction is justified by student learning.